Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Pharma Just. I am Dr. Haima Vati. Uh, so now, from now onwards, I am starting a new series of videos on computer-aided drug design uh, under the heading CAD Made Easy. So in these videos, I'll try to explain computer-aided drug design in the simplest possible way. And this is the first video. And in this video, I have given a brief introduction about computer-aided drug design. I hope you will like the video and if you like the video then do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos. So let's begin our video. So what is computer aided drug design? Suppose just imagine in the craziest thoughts what happens in computer aided drug design. Suppose we have a computer and we design some molecules in the computer and they walk out into the physical world as the tablets and medicines which we are using a very crazy imagination isn't it i hope uh, uh, you will be laughing at this moment that drugs come out of the computer but it is possible that is what is computer aided drug design it takes a lot of uh, research and time to make this possible so we have a number of successful examples there are a number of drugs available in the market which have been designed in the computer. They have been rigorously tested. A lot of research has undergone and we have the molecules. For example, the HIV protein, inhibis, uh, protein inhibitors. The HIV inhibitors are the best example for computer-aided drug design molecules. And similarly, we have a lot of drugs. Uh, those examples I will mention in future uh, but there are a lot of uh, drugs which are available in the market which have been uh, successfully used for various diseases like cancer and HIV etc so basically what is uh, what do you need to know to become an expert in CAD you need to have a basic knowledge of chemistry and biology so you have to go to the college basics like what are the different types of bonds, what are the bond distances, etc. Uh, so you will be studying about uh, molecules as well as you will be studying about proteins also. So in the computer aided drug design, when you have to design an experiment, you need to have the basic knowledge because you have to input the information related to these molecules into the computer because computer cannot understand a human language you have to uh, give the input so that it can understand it will do some algorithms and the output comes so if you want a meaningful output you have to give the meaningful input so for this you need to have a basic knowledge of the chemistry and biology you which you have uh, for example you have a hydrogen bond how does a hydrogen bond uh, uh, what are the features of the hydrogen bond like what is the distance and uh, what are the different atoms which the hydrogen bond happens like that and if, uh, if you want to study the proteins you need to know the information about amino acids and what are the letter codes of the amino acids single letter three letter code and what are the interactions that happens in macromolecules likewise so you need to have all the basic information regarding uh, chemistry and biology if you want to be an expert in CAD now coming to the definition of CAD so the application of computers and information technology in the field of drug design is defined as CAD so it is an uh, interdisciplinary field which is a combination of the chemistry computers and information technology and this CAD it is also known as an in silico process in silico means which is performed on the computer or a computer simulation so whatever experiment we are conducting in a computer it is known as a simulation or a virtual experiment because it is not being conducted in the real world it is being conducted on the computer so we are uh, recreating an environment and recreating the molecules in the computer so that is why it is known as in silico and this term in silico it was coined in 1989 by mira montis in his phd thesis 
so we know the terms in vivo and in vitro in vivo means that which happens in the organism living organism and in vitro which uh, which is performed in the laboratory similarly in silico means which is performed on a computer now uh, coming to the classification of computer aided drug design computer aided drug design can be classified into chemoinformatics and bioinformatics so we have a number of classifications in this computer aided drug design so different authors and uh, different uh, books have different classifications like computational chemistry medicinal chemistry all these are part and parcel of chemistry on the whole so the chemistry is subdivided into computational chemistry medicinal chemistry computer aided drug design so we can give definition accordingly based on the situation for now we will assume that uh, cad is uh, divided into chemoinformatics and bioinformatics so that it is easy to uh, learn and understand this concept now what is chemoinformatics chemoinformatics is a combination of chemistry computer science and information technology so as we can so as to study small molecules or drug molecules and this helps in the drug discovery of novel lead molecules so for this what we have to know the topology the graph theory and the different informational retrieval systems which are present so this is nothing but data mining for small molecules in the chemical space and technically the definition is the term chem chemoinformatics involves the application of chemistry computer science and information technology in the areas of topology chemical graph theory information retrieval and data mining in chemical space so the application of chemoinformatics includes storage indexing and searching information related to chemical compounds so overall the definition looks very complicated such a big definition and a number of uh, uh, new terms and complex terms are uh, appearing but on a whole if you see chemoinformatics is nothing but the study of small molecules or drug molecules so that we can identify a new lead molecule or repurpose an already existing drug molecule so for that all the information related we will be studying in chemoinformatics now what is bioinformatics bioinformatics is defined as the application of computational tools to organize analyze understand visualize and store information associated with biological macromolecules so it helps in understanding the structure and function of proteins the binding of ligand to its receptor the biochemical reaction of an enzyme biochem bioinformatics deals with the studying of the macromolecules macromolecules are nothing but the proteins or the drug targets which are present in our human body we will be studying about the drug targets and their properties so that we can be able to design a better drugs that is how bioinformatics helps in identifying protein targets for novel drug molecules and chemoinformatics help in developing new lead molecules um, therefore bioinformatics and chemoinformatics both come together will help us in computer aided drug design to design a novel drug molecule or repurpose an already existing molecule for the better usage of human kind so that's all for the video for now in future i will try to make more and more videos on the different concept present in cad hope you like the video thank you for watching and do not forget to like and sh like share and subscribe to my channel for more videos bye bye